Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Minecraft with the General. There is a creeper here. Let's take it out pretty quick. Gotcha. All right, good. Welcome. <laughs> oh man, it feels good. I got those two guys. Should probably switch those with gold and put those out here. Maybe. Oh, great. It's nighttime. Fantastic. Well, that leads me to uh, today's objective. Our goal today. You see that? Eight iron. <laughs> That's all I have. I just collected that. Uh, today's objective, everybody. Uh, thank you for the kind feedback on the last episode. That was real nice. Okay, you die, please. Right, good. Hey, sir. You're not the guy I'm looking for. Okay, good. All these guys burning. Man, it's a field day out here. <laughs> Look at all the loot I'm getting. Oh, yeah. Actually, don't need this. Uh, man, that was scary. Anyway, last time I built this army, man, it takes me long to get to places. <laughs> and uh, thank you for the kind feedback. And uh, I might, yeah, I might still do the uh, the whole editing the texture of the iron armor. I'm going to give it a try anyway, and then... Uh, Perhaps sometime not too far in the future, I'm gonna showcase it, and then you can say yay or nay on what you think. Well, yeah, iron. Uh, I've done a little bit of work here since last time. It probably doesn't look like much, <laughs> but I've completely fixed the wall. I just got an email, thank you. Uh, but I've fixed the wall all the way around here. You know how it was uh, kind of off in the corners? because uh, uh, I placed them wrong when I was doing it and the fence turned out to be sticking outside and now it's all perfectly aligned and there's a pathway up there. Although not very practical to walk on, it's, it's still up there, right? So yeah, I sorted that out and I shaved off one more layer of, uh, of this mountain just because why not? You know, it's something I should keep working on, but I didn't want to do too much. I also took off a little bit of land over here. I don't want to do too much before I put in more things here because then it'll look super empty. It already looks pretty empty. Yeah, I also fixed this over here. Put some fence up there. Yada yada. I've done some work. But today's objective, everybody, is in regards to the iron, which brings me to how do I get iron? You know, apart from chipping away on that and going mining, well, maybe it's not such a bad idea. I could use those blocks, <laughs> but <laughs> those are actually cheated in, so let's not do that. Uh, yeah, that's a long story. That's before I started this world. Um, yes, iron. So I was thinking, okay, I was given the great suggestion by... Oh, I'm going to butcher your name. You've been a long time subscriber and I can't even pronounce your name. Jory, Jory. I'm going to call you Joe, okay? Hey, Joe. Let it go. <laughs> so, good old Joe suggested uh, I make an iron farm with iron golems. And for that, you need villagers. And for that, I need villagers. <laughs> so, with all that in mind, I will. Uh, I was thinking today we'd make a little fun little episode. I've already spent like five minutes guffing along about nothing. So, that's great content for you. Hello, sounds. So... Today's goal is to capture and find herself a zombie villager. Look look at my inventory. I have hats to give them so they don't despawn if that should be necessary. Uh, I have a gold, gold enough to, uh, to make a golden apple. I'm going to make a fermented spider eye, make bottles, and uh, a brewing stand, which brings me to my next point on the agenda. We should probably do that first and foremost is to go into the nether, find a couple blazes, because I, um... Uh, man, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, who knew? <laughs> I had no idea. Well, that's handy, I suppose. All right, let's put away some stuff that I don't need. I don't know why I'm, I have a hoe on me, but I was thinking, wouldn't it be funny to see a zombie villager walking around with a hoe? I thought that would be funny. But we need to go to the uh, nether and uh, 
and uh, fight ourselves some bl blazes because we need blaze rods to make brewing stains. I do actually have one blaze rod. I checked down in my major storage and uh, yeah, although I could just use that, I thought it would be more fun to uh, to go into the nether. It's been a long time since we've been in there, I think. Well, it may, maybe not that too long ago, but long ago since we did something useful. I know we went briefly in there to uh, shish dogs. Yeah, 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 I'll get to naming you or kill you. I don't know, whichever comes first. <laughs> They're kind of annoying. <laughs> I was given name suggestions a long time ago. I might ask again and uh, use one of those names. Either way, into the nether we go. This is a bad place. All right, good. Yeah, it's a good place. All right. I don't know what this is doing here. It's just in the way, really. So let's uh, go. F Hello, dude. How you doing? <laughs> let's go find uh, that fortress that we found oh so long ago. Feels like ages ago. Last time I was in here, I just grabbed some glowstone that was conveniently already chopped down. And these torches are placed in such a way that it's easy for me. I need these. Oops. should probably grab a few of these mushrooms. Because I realized I don't really have a lot of mushrooms. Even though I have a, a roofed forest near me. So I don't really need to pick them up. He has an a enchanted sword. So I made this uh, safe path up here. <laughs> because I'm too scared. I'm not going to hit you, sir. But over here is the fortress. As you can tell, I've already kind of dismembered it. <laughs> you want to know why? Because, oh jeez, I need a way up there. Let's uh, grab a little bit of this quickly and, and dirty. Uh, because I needed it for the fence on my, uh, my, uh, my wall. Yeah. So let's uh, go on up here. Hopefully there's no surprises. Hello? So yeah, <laughs> this is all I did. I just basically took three layers off this thing and went to town on it. And uh, that was a good time. Got some nice, nice uh, quartz here. Whenever that, I see a blaze. Perfect. Uh, you should probably also watch out for Big scary men with with swords, <laughs> whatever wither skeleton or or what's his face. You hear that? Oh, it's one of you guys. I just heard the footsteps. <laughs> hey, dude. Uh, maybe it wasn't a blaze. Maybe it was just his sword. Well, the hunt continues then. I know I've, I've briefly gone in here before, but I haven't really raided it or anything. I just peeked my head in here. Last time I was... Oh, hey. Hey, dude. Uh... Okay. Come on over here. I have a, a party platter of, of food. Should have brought a bow. <laughs> well, you know, that's too much to ask. Oh, hey, dude. He's coming now. Let's get him stuck in this corner. Man, you look so green. Anything? Anything good? Uh, nope. Whoa! Hello. So, yeah, this is... Oh, hello. This is solving all our problems. All right, I'll just hang out here for a bit. <laughs> How about you uh, spawn one of them there blases? Huh? Any minute now. Oops, F3. Hello. Good times. Just making sure everything's running smoothly. Are you, uh, you gonna work or? I'm not scared. Maybe I should eat though. There you go. That's one. I just want to get a few so that I at least have a little bit of supply. This was easier to find than I thought. I didn't even know this was here. Any minute now. 
any minute. So how are you guys doing? You having a good time? I've been working out a lot lately, which is really nice. Getting all fit and stuff. I was actually out running today. Not far, but you know, if you have a... Whoa. If you have a 20, 15, 20 minute walk to the store, I would suggest just go for a jog instead. First of all, it makes the trip a lot shorter, ow, in time, and uh, secondly, it, uh, three of them already, very nice. And secondly, it's good for your health. So yeah, I've been uh, trying to get into shape lately. A little bit of a motivational speech for me. <laughs> uh, started the workout together with uh, Generic B on Twitter. He's being very supportive, and I'm being very supportive, and we're doing it together. And um, anyone who wants to join, just feel free to do it. You know, it's it's one of those iPad, iPhone apps called uh, something something. Go look up my Twitter if you want to see. I forget the name. Something along the lines of you are your own workout or something. Body weight, you are your own something. <laughs> Yeah, so basically it's uh, it's arms one day, legs one day, four workouts a week. So there's a couple of rest days in between there. Today is a rest day, and I figured, why not work on some cardio? And I went out jogging. And uh, my motivation to you guys is, if you find yourself running low on energy, which is what basically my motivation was, is, you know, you sit away and you rot away on your couch all day, and you can't really find the energy to do anything, and it's just a downward spiral, really. And uh, if that happens to you, all I'm saying is just do it, man. Just get started. I know it's really, really hard to get started, but you gotta break the pattern, man. Gotta let go of the bad ways, because with low energy, it, it doesn't give you free energy. In order to get more energy, you have to force yourself up and around, and eventually... Oh, hello. And, uh... By doing that... Let's go down here. Just wanna peek my head in here. See if there's anything good. Okay, scary. <laughs> anything? Nope, dead end. Alright. But yeah, uh, that's what happens to me, you know, I found out that the more time I spend sitting on the couch doing nothing, it's not going to change by itself. You gotta, gotta get going. I guess I should just get out of here, really. Because this is a bad place. That's my way out. All right. I know there are chests and stuff in here that I probably could uh, benefit from checking out. Oh, another one, great. <laughs> this has been very, very fruitful. Oh, hey, dude. Hey, I'm gonna leave you be. <clears throat> but it takes effort to get effort. It takes energy to get energy, and that's uh, basically what I'm trying to tell you all. Hey dudes, stay frosty. <laughs> uh, it's funny because it's super hot in the nether. Ha ha ha. Very funny. All right. Man, it sounds like they're mad, but they're not. So I'm going to go up to the surface now. I have plenty of uh, blasé rods. So we should probably just go to the surface and first order of the day is make a brewing stand. Get a potion of weakness, make the golden apple, and then uh, go hunting. And it's up here. What am I doing? <laughs> I made a billion torches for a reason. <laughs> okay. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit, all right? All right. Let's make this uh, <laughs> brewing stand. It's just this, right? Yeah, so simple. So simple, that's one done. We need to make a, a fermented spider eye. So I have a spider eye, sugar, and a mushroom. 
Does it work with the red ones? No, it doesn't. It has to be a brown. All right. That's good to know. I wasn't aware of that. I never tried with a red. All right. So there we go. Fermented spider eye. Need to make ourselves some uh, glass bottles. And last but not least, the golden apple. Boom. So let's go ahead and uh, brew ourselves a potione. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Should probably put it somewhere useful. I'll close this door. As far as I can remember, you can make a potion of weakness without... Uh... Oh, we need gunpowder. Yeah, I got some uh, right over there. Uh, you can make a potion of weakness without using nether wart, right? I know I have nether warts somewhere. Do I? I'm not sure I do. I'm actually sure I'm not sure. Hmm, curious. It doesn't matter because I don't need it to make a, a potion of weakness. Just use the fermented spider eye and boom goes the dynamite. Okay, I'm gonna need one of those. Gonna need you to go put that away and this away and all these other gubbins that I don't need. All right, guess that's all I can fit in that chest. I know I have a billion chests in here, but that's <laughs> beside the point. Where should I put this thing? I mean, it's not going to be here permanently, but I guess I could just put it there. For the Momo. All right, water bottle and fermented spider eye. That should make a potion of weakness. Unless I am horribly mistaken, which I am never. <laughs> so let's uh, get this going. Any minute now. Any minute. Yep. There we go. Potion of weakness. Perfect. So it has to be a splash potion so we can splash those fools. Use the gunpowder. And uh, I suppose I'll bring you back when time is due. Give him a nice golden hat. Nice. <clears throat> Perfect. Splash Potion of Weakness. Local Brewery. Achievement Unlock. Oh yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go a little bit of ways. Let's not wave around with that thing. <laughs> gonna go a little bit away here. Because I don't want him just sitting around in the middle of here. I have, really don't have much of a plan for the villagers yet. Maybe I should uh, move them somewhere else. Hmm, maybe put them up in that little thing and make them run that village and die horrible deaths. Or maybe I should make them another dedicated zone outside of the army thing here. That might be a good idea. Because I got this huge field out here, so like beyond this little forest, they could be like the civilians just outside that we're protecting. <laughs> Something like that, I guess. So for the moment, I'm just going to put him out here somewhere. So I'm going to collect a little bit of dirt so that I can makeshift a little bit of home for him. And uh, see if we can't uh, get ourselves a villager today. Local difficulty 585. Isn't that really high? That sounds really high to me. <laughs> That sounds like a super difficult zone to be in. 531, 540. I've, I don't think I've seen any higher around here. 580, 594. It's closer to my base. <laughs> 577. 594. Jesus. Sounds like a bad time. This is an angle you don't see often. Thought I'd share this little moment. 614 local difficulty. Oh, I sure built in the right location. Jeez Louise. Day 320. You gotta celebrate New Year's soon. Minecraft New Year's. Oh yeah. Celebrating the good times. Looks pretty cool from here. Can't wait to fill all this in. I have a pretty cool designs coming your way on a viewing platform near you. Soon. Man, this day takes forever. Come on. 
Ugh. Hey, look, there's a uh, one of them there jockeys. Spider? No, what? Spider jockey? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those in a long time. I wish you were a villager. Ah, come on. You? Ah, oh, normal guy. Oh, I'm burning. <laughs> you carrying an egg? <laughs> That's hilarious. I saved you, sheep. Okay, that happened. Cool, cool. <laughs> 646. My base is on the most difficult place in the in the world. Local difficulty? Jeez Louise. 656. I don't think I've seen numbers these high. How about over here? Still same? Everything in my base is 656. Thanks for that game. Uh, man, look at him just merge through the the army. <laughs> I built this little dark room over here during the daytime. Got a few spawns in there. Got up to 30 levels. Uh, didn't get what I wanted. But they sure did spawn in there. Problem with being over by my base is there's way too many spawns. And I don't want things... <laughs> Primarily spawning over here, especially not with uh, my bridge and all that. Man, look at you guys, all potiony and stuff. Right, I'm gonna keep keep looking. <gasps> Dude, we found one, guys, and he's all clothed up. <laughs> all right, uh, here's what we're gonna do. Shoot, give me some time here, brother. I know you're eager. Uh, four. I'm gonna put him in a hole. Close to her home. Follow me, brother. You're not gonna burn because you have a beautiful helmet. Oh man, I can't believe I found one. It's the end of day night, uh, of night two. And it's the first one I've seen. I've killed like a hundred zombies. <laughs> Come hither, my friend. I will save you. Man, this is going to be exciting. I also think I, I figured out what I want to do with him. He is going to become... Well, the first one, I think, is going to become my... Uh, my uh, storage assistant. So I'm going to bring him down into the... <laughs> to the... Uh, should probably just bring him as is, yeah. Cause he's not gonna burn. It's raining at the same time as well, so that's gonna help me. But I'm just gonna bring him down into my storage room, and uh, he's gonna become my storage worker. No, not you. I need to kill you. Uh... Yeah. Almost killed you with a shovel. There's another guy over here. Ah, that's a regular guy. Hey, dude. You wanna wanna come on this way or do you need some help? There you go. <laughs> come on, Moro. You can do it. I believe in you. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> I'm gonna name you Albert. That's his name. Oh, yeah, I made this giant dong sticking out of the mountain. Hoping that something would spawn in there. And it did. Every time I checked, it had like eight or nine mobs. Look at that, it's crazy. Super efficient for a tiny little... Just because I've lit up everything underneath here. All the caves and such. That's super helpful. I started shaving off another layer. Because <laughs> I was bored. Alright. Let me run in here and check that... Uh, it's safe. It's usually not. Hello? It's not safe. Can you go through the door? Brother? There you go. Good job. <laughs> I did not expect you to uh, function so well in society already. 
You're very eager to turn back into your your villager form. Very nice. Come on. I know stairs are hard, but you can do it, brother. Hmm. Soon you can enjoy some cooked mutton yourself. Nothing in here, right? Should be a, a spawn safe room. Uh, I'm gonna have to remember to close the door though because uh, sometimes mobs will spawn right in the doorway. But they can't, there's no place in here they can spawn, even if I remove these torches. Alright, you ready? You ready? There you go. The process has begun. I was struck with weakness myself. <laughs> All right, uh, here's what I'm gonna do. Well, actually, I can't do that. Ow. Yeah, there we go. You got the jitters, boy. You got the jitterbug. A little jitterbug. A little do 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 Here, have a stone. You gonna pick up a hole? You can have it. No? <laughs> Too nervous to pick it up? <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm gonna give him a bit of time here and uh, hopefully, soon enough, we got ourselves a little friend. Shake, 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 shake your booty, shake your booty, shake, 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 shake your booty. Come on now, twist again, like we did last summer. Let's twist again. Dude, come on. It was fun for the first ten minutes. <sighs> Albert! What are you wearing? You're not a librarian. You're supposed to be a librarian in here, bro. Are you not a li- Hmm, what are you? Could be a farmer. Hey, smile for the camera. <laughs> That's what I would say too in this situation. <laughs> if I were you. Alright, so what have you got? Shepherd. We should put him over by the sheep farm. That would be super useful. But he only takes white. Well, we can just dye the sheep again. Uh. Shears. Yeah, it would be perfect to have over by the sheep farm. Uh. You should have told me that before we turned you, man. I got this vacant position for you. Uh. And you applied. And then after you get the job, you tell me... You're not a librarian. I mean... Could be worse, right? And I could have no applicants. Oh, you took off? There's nothing in here. See? You gotta learn where things are. Seeds? You want seeds? Seeds are over here. No, oh, actually, they're over here. Here. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Don't be so smug. You want a carrot? Want a carrot? You gonna pick that up? Is it inside of you now? Good job. That's your allowance for this week. Because you lied on your job application saying you were... Something you were not. You're gonna go stare at the wall now? Are you offended? I mean, I have a shepherd's job. Should have told me. You know? I could have set you up. Jeez. What a guy, huh? What a giant jerk he is. Alright, well... I'm gonna lock you in here for now. Say night night. That's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun, and now we have a villager.
Step one complete. Also, out there is mayhem and death. So let's, uh, <laughs> there's really, I don't see any. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it, guys. For this episode, fun little short project to do. Step one complete in getting an iron farm. <laughs> so I've been a general. Thank you all for watching. Eddie's. I'm sliding. <laughs> <laughs>